The first decision was the renaming the expert council because we called decommunization and justification, but because an expert council, there are scientists, uh, historians, uh, they're part of our council, uh, museum um, experts. So we uh, wanted to rename it more precisely its expert uh, council on overcoming the consequences of falsification and totalitarianism because those terms, decommunization and justification, they are more narrowed of a wider scope of uh, imperial and totalitarian policy. On the first session, there were two important decisions. We uh, wrote recommendations that we can only give recommendation. I want to emphasize this. And uh, we operate in a narrow spectrum regarding the morals of uh, national and local importance. Uh, ministry has uh, certain authorities. So what we recommended uh, decisions on removing from a public space or keeping the objects, uh, names of symbols of Russian imperial and Soviet totalitarian policy. It's relevant to consider the following criterions. Uh, extent of participation of uh, uh, those uh, persons in implementation of uh, Russian or Soviet policy. Uh, how those uh, uh, creations uh, pro propagate uh, imperial narratives and uh, uh, impact the development of science the uh, values or interests and attitude of that person to Ukraine identity and identity of nations of Ukraine. Instruments of totalitarian propaganda of that person, of that historical person. Irrelevant is the presence of in public space uh, names, objects and symbols that are relevant to implementation of uh, Russian imperial policy, uh, uh, political repressions, uh, and other crimes of imperial territorial regime, names of Russian cities and other historic and, and uh, uh, geographical uh, objects of Russian Federation that are not related to Ukrainian history. Uh, the persons that were propagating uh, Russian and Soviet uh, totalitarian policy, those who persecuted Ukrainian fighters for independence uh, were uh, accomplices of uh, repressions persons that were mythologized uh, were part of myths of Soviet propaganda and are used by S Russian propaganda currently to disseminate its narratives in the process of cleaning the uh, public space from uh, imperial uh, heritage we have to prevent to re remove actual historical uh, persons those who actually assisted in development of uh, Ukrainian on world uh, science were tolerant to Ukraine and Ukrainian cult uh, cultures or fighting against totalitarian regime or were persecuted by that regime uh, whose creations were create consensus in their presence in, in uh, coexistence it's uh, relevant to propose uh, compromise solutions regarding uh, our uh, art objects, maybe masking or moving them, to, uh, you know, to, nor not to lose the cultural heritage. We were uh, gathering, so had several uh, gatherings, three hours. Uh, those were relevant. Those were very important. So we're, there will be balanced decisions, and we call on all the local communities that are, by ninety percent, responsible in that of operation of this direction is to. Listen to the standpoint of uh, expert experts that some communities could invite to solve the issue. Or you can address us, and we will gather with the expert community. One more decision we passed regarding the, this topical issue regarding the name of a national musical company by the name of uh, Mr. Tchaikovsky. We made an uh, anonymous decision. We To propose, we cannot impact. We can just recommend the team to gather and to remove the name of Tchaikovsky for several reasons. Of course, that's important, but it's a Russian composer. We have several other components, Chopin and Mitskevich, and we can recall many, many others, other last names, but we also have other observatory that is named after Tchaikovsky in Moscow, so two names in different places after the same composer 
I doubt that we doubt that is relevant. So we recommend to change the name from Tchaikovsky. For important uh, things that I wanted to recall as well that were happening lately, last week we had a unique meeting of several ministers of Central Europe, Czech Republic, uh, Slovakia, uh, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Romania, Hungary, Moldova, where we discussed the topical issues and challenges that Ukraine culture faces. Why? that was important that happened in Lviv, that occurred in Lviv, because firstly, our neighbors, the majority of our neighbors, for them it's clear the threat that moves on us from the east, in person of Russian military and Putin's regime. To defend our cultural heritage uh, during the war, it's very important because practically Putin is at war against our identity that is represented by our uh, language, heritage, and history. And uh, the joint front of U the EU is important for us and it's relevant to several directions. First is sanctions against uh, Russian cultural uh, representatives and propagandist channels. Is support of independent Ukrainian um, culture activists, though we need to fundraise for that, we uh, agreed on that. And also we need to uh, maintain the Ukraine cultural heritage, not from only from ruining, but to restore it. That's a principal position of my colleague ministers, my counterparts. We uh, committed that thought to uh, commissioners of the EU, uh, and we will continue that operation. It's one of the targets of such meet, uh, meetings is informing the colleagues about the losses that damages that were caused to U Ukraine and creating the social foundation. We have United 24 um, with 5 billion euro for us to start the work on maintaining the Ukrainian culture and renew it. We need to voice and we need to speak on uh, that foundation to be filled. Also, if Anyone who is listening to us was, is not participating in voting on DIA regarding the shield on uh, this uh, motherland uh, monument. Over 400 uh, people voted there. Please participate and vote. Now you, we, why it is important to do? Because that's one of the democratic community presentation. When people can actually participate and uh, it's clear, the decisions are clear, what are they grounded on? Not on a standpoint of uh, uh, patriots or n uh, not respe respected or not respected people, but on the standpoint of the majority who can participate. The process will be quite uneasy. The replacement of the shield and technolo from technological standpoint, there are several options on how we can do it. But we need to calculate them all, also from security reasons and safety reasons. Also, one more question I would like to cover. There were many questions regarding the law of imports of Russian books, book products. I would like to clarify the Ministry of Culture. We are pro-banning any book products from the territory of Russian Federation, not only uh, in Russian language, but in any language, first thing. That's secondly, a question about print of uh, authors on the territory of Ukraine in Russian or Ukrainian language. That's a question regarding rights and freedoms guaranteed by the Constitution. Therefore, we consider that all those questions related to white or black lists, I'm not speaking of imports of products. Here is the anonymous. We have anonymous set points. We have to, uh, they have to be regulated simultaneously because this sphere is quite large. We have unnormed uh, decisions. Uh, we're not defined how to operate in movies or TV with those blacklists. Our position is making blacklists indubitably it has to be done by the security service of Ukraine, and the, it has to be relevant to all the spheres, not only one sphere like in the movies, but uh, in music as well, uh, in book products. So there are no, it's not dubious, it's not ambivalent. So it's clear what to do in a certain sphere that we're discussing when we replace Russian products, Russian cultural products on the church of Ukraine. We also agitate our uh, products, called on them to push 
out Russian product. I would like to notify and two news Opera House excluded Russian Federation uh, from its members and the 28th of uh, uh, July in Warsaw they start a great tour it's a joint plot project with called Freedom of Ukraine Orchestra that is conducted with, with Metropolitan Opera with our Polish musicians and Ukrainian musicians and a large part of their during their tour on the capitals of the world they will play Ukrainian composers music that cup is the first kind of such cooperation they would will raise Ukrainian mm, music and understanding about our heritage and uh, have a lot uh, raise awareness of m more listeners more viewers about our culture that is in a nutshell about the last well Mr. Minister you said about white lists and black lists of uh, cultural uh, is, is, are, is, are there any white lists anywhere where, where uh, our citizens could see them? I'm against white lists. I don't know. In the law of music, it said that they have to fill out certain forms and make those white lists. I think instead of make this procedure complicated, we have to just follow one track. There's blacklist, there's ban list. Those who are not on the ban list, we, we can work with. Also, there are restrictions in the legislation that were existing regarding the movie th uh, movies that we cannot use uh, uh, ones that were produced before 2014. It's also a restriction. Additional restrictions like ban of imports of any uh, books or book pro uh, printed products. Uh, it's in addition to what could be regulated by a certain ban list. To your colleagues, your questions, please. Metro Bedrock Cooker Inform. Sir, you were speaking about questioning uh, questionnaires in DIA. Is this questioning uh, plan to be regular, and how much time is necessary for expert uh, counsel to uh, pass that uh, questionnaire? And what is the dynamic of the uh, list of such questioning will be uh, widened? From the standpoint of ministry, it's the first experience of using such opportunity because uh, over 24 hours, over 400,000 people voted. I think further on we will use that in tools, but they have to be relevant only. Those important, uh, well-known to Ukraine's problems because it, when we discuss some issues, it's just not a bu bubble that uh, for... Uh, uh, sm a small amount of uh, respected persons. No, DIA is an instrument of uh, democratic uh, mass voting, so we have we. It's relevant to use them in those moments when they are relevant to something symbolic, something important for the community. I wanted to say that uh, the monument demounted the monument of so-called friendship of Russian-Ukrainian uh, nations in Pereyaslav. I want to emphasize that that was done within the legal framework there was a request from the community to us we approved it because this is a local importance management the mayor was uh, dubious but they made a decision they made a decision and they demounted it it's a civilized 100 percent civilized way how to demount uh, monuments like that i hope that one of the monuments in odessa will be demounted the same way I thank you. Alexander Kachenko is with us, Minister of Culture and Information Policy of Ukraine. Thank you. Our, uh, uh, at 3 o'clock, uh, we will have Dmitry Zhevitsky, Sumy uh, Military Administration, uh, and we'll speak about the situation in Sumy region. Thank you, and please stay with us.